It sounds so good. And today we're working on the Anglia. Um, if you saw our English show, I got a Weber carburetor, uh, new intake or uh, exhaust manifold, everything. Um, so we're going to be doing that. Hopefully water pump, you know, it's making some grindy noises. So we're, we're just going to, we're just going to do it. I've already got fuel line off and stuff's already loose. So let's go. That's what we're taking off. Yes, I didn't please. know how to get this off. It's just like, you know, whatever. Okay, let's see this new Look how little bolt. this is. Yeah. Because the alternator might be hitting this. Look at this. Beefy. Damn. Alrighty, so, uh, the alternator is too big. It's in the way. The steering box is slightly in the way. I don't know what we're going to do about that. Maybe bend it a little more. Uh, it was already dinged a little, but it's going to have to move a little more. But this is it, the 1500GT intake manifold with the 1500GT exhaust manifold. It's looking pretty cool. We've got some bolts in there. We're going to have to get some more bolts. Um, so, yeah. We're just going to block all these off. They're not going to be useful to us. So, very excited. All right, so Rory finished the linkage. So now we have throttle. Now we need fuel, alternator. What else? Put the air box on, that's not really a thing. Oh, exhaust. Rory's gonna do the exhaust as well because I don't weld because I'm lame. But the linkage is done. All right, making some progress. Uh, carburetor's on, just uh, routing fuel lines. And, uh, yeah, we're probably going to do no choke for now. Let you choke it. Oh, I can't see anything. Chokes, no chokes, chokes, no chokes. So, yeah, fuel line that's made in Thailand. That's pretty cool. And, uh, car, you know. It's already here. So how many how loud do you think it's gonna be? Loud. It's only a four cylinder. Good. 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 Do it again. Smoky. Yeah, it's burning off all the stuff off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, now all I gotta do is go underneath, drop the alternator down, yeah. and then see what I need to do to make that work, and then measure for a belt. So does the car officially run, kind of? Yeah, the only thing that's not made is, is that the, it's got no water pump. So am I gonna have to use the choke? No, you just have to keep it running. Okay, just 
Joe hooked up to the old one or no? Uh, no, it was the auto choke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I broke the auto choke on purpose and I never used it. Yeah. But this one has more fuel. More fuel. Yeah, because it's bigger. Yeah, you probably need a little bit. So you need more choke when you have more no, fuel? Less choke. Less choke when you have more fuel? Can you stop? Alright, Rory, what are we doing now? Trying to make the alternator fucking work. Which was already aftermarket, kind of. Uh, GM alternator. Hacked. Uh, GM alternator. It's better than with the original. So, like, the same alternator that came on... Most GMs. Just most GMs? Yeah, any GM 1974 or 5 and newer. Hmm. It's got the homemade motor mounts, too. So did you flip it over? Yeah, it might gain me a little bit more room. <laughs> we shall see. Hopefully, to clear my real live headers now, not cast iron bullshit. This is so cool. That's really bad. I love this car. All right, so we're doing the water pump as well because it's bad, very bad. Um, Got to mess with the alternator to uh, get it to clear everything. And you got to take the, um, what do you call it out too? The what? The um, radiator out completely. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. You want clear? Nope. All right, old water pump is out and uh, very, very noisy. Right? Yeah, yeah. And it's got the your head. Yeah. So there it is. It's on. Airbox is on. Fuel's connected. Throttle's connected. You just gotta do the exhaust. What else? I don't know. I'm so excited. I can't wait to hear it. It's gonna be so cool. Exhaust is going on. All right, we're running. Just burping the system out. Uh, we have exhaust, everything. It's all coming together. I don't think there's a thermostat in it, so it's probably already bled. It's not really bubbling anymore. Can I rev it? Yeah. How does this rev? How do you rev it, like, with your hand? Oh my god, you could totally hear the second one open. That's crazy. Once it warms up, I can set everything. Yeah. Well, it runs. And, uh, we're gonna have to do something about the steering box. I think the aftermarket motor mount uh, made it a little difficult for clearance, so we're gonna do something about that eventually, but it's what, 10 o'clock? <laughs> yeah. It's gonna take me an hour to get home, so uh, yeah, just gotta make sure it's good and then we're gonna go. Hey, me again. Uh, so everything's on, everything's good. We had a major uh, leak. It looks like it was from the rear main seal. So we changed the oil, it was a little thin. All my cars are having problems generally with, with rings and crankcase pressure and stuff. So uh, we did uh, we did put the PC, PCV back and uh, I don't know if you could get it into reverse. It's, you pull it up and then you put it where second is. It's not leaking as much now, uh, if at all. We're gonna see how it sounds. Wow. It sounds so good.
Sounds like a race car. That's pretty cool. So, I'm beat. It's like 11 o'clock. It's gonna take me over an hour to drive home and I have work tomorrow. So, that's cool. Sweet. It sounds so cool. It's a fun little car, I really like it. Looks like he's pulling it all the way in, which means there might be something wrong. 